Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got a fresh Atlantic salmon fillet. It weighs just over a pound. And the first thing you want to do is get this cut into four to five ounce size portions. Something like this should be perfect. Now if you want to be nitpicky, you can cut this belly flap off here. And all you got to do is cut it at the white edge. But for me it's not necessary and it's a waste of meat. So all we got to do is season with a little salt and pepper. And then in a hot pan over medium heat we'll just drizzle in a little bit of olive oil. Now all you have to do is take one of those salmon fillets, meat side down first, give it a good rub in that olive oil so it stays nice and slick, and leave that for a couple minutes. Now some soy sauce in a separate pot, a little bit of mirin, some sake, and some sugar. We're going to be making an eel sauce, real common with sushi. Just want to bring it to a boil, remove it from the heat, and let it cool down. By now you'll see a nice pink line across the bottom of your salmon filet. It's a good indication it's time to flip. And as you can see here, we got a nice sear here on the top. But now we're going for a crispy layer skin, so we're going to leave it a minute longer than we cooked the first side. Now some mayonnaise, and a good squeeze of sriracha. This will make our spicy mayo. Again, just a real common ingredient when you're making sushi. And you want to just stir that in until it's got that real nice salmon tone. Now if I cook the top layer for two minutes, I'm going to cook the bottom layer for three. That gives us this nice crispy skin. And a medium to medium rare filet. And we'll just pull that and set it aside for toppings. But just so you know, you can do two to three fillets in your pan at a time, so you don't have to wait for just one. Now just hit it with your spicy mayo right over the top. But we're going to need another sushi ingredient that's real common, and that's some crushed French onion. And we'll just sprinkle that right over the top of that spicy mayo, across the top of that salmon, give it a little bit of crisp, or crust. Now you're ready to plate. But don't forget that eel sauce. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And there you have it. Spicy mayo salmon with eel sauce right here in the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.